Howdy y'all and welcome back to another adventure and today we are back at one of our favorite places in the whole world. We're in Pensacola camping at Fort Pickens Campground and you know we had to come back through here because we're trying to get home for the holidays to see our family and this is like a second home to us now. We've never been here in December and look how remote this place is. What do y'all think about that? Usually when we come here, you know, there's only a certain amount of parking and once it's filled, you can't be in the park. You can't just park on the shoulders. So people just sit about this area right here and we usually go down there and we're all by ourselves. Now, basically we're just by ourselves and Kelly is so excited. I feel like I am at home. I said earlier, home sweet Fort Pickens. Here we are in December and there's literally Nobody on the beach. I just saw a shark. There it is right there. Oh, I don't know if it's shark or dolphin. That's a shark. And there are also some jellyfish washed up that are pretty cool looking. But yeah. Right. There might be two of them. It's two sharks right there. I think anyways. Oh, honey, those aren't sharks. Those are stingrays. But I want to show you this jellyfish. Now they're dead because they washed up. How weird is that? It's kind of pretty. Which I'm sure it'd be very hard to see out in the water. Ew. This water is some of the cleanest, clearest water that we've been in. It looks like bath water, in my opinion. And for it to be salt water, it's really, really soft. It's a good way to get cooled off because it probably feels like 85 out here right now. It was hot up there. Don't scare me like that. I'm already tripping because of the jellyfish and the stingray. at camp Cody is going to be going shark fishing at night with Phil I don't know if you guys will remember Phil in the last Pensacola video we shark fished with him early in the morning before we left so today we've met up with him again and Cody is gonna go out there and fish I have been in here already preparing dinner cook it on the side of the road <laughs> so we actually drove and I know I look rough right now she showered because she's like I just want to lay down and so she's hanging out in here and I ran out here I'm nasty I'll shower when I get back to camp yeah I told him he was um he was gonna have to shower if he goes back out there again and then to get in bed he's gonna have to shower <laughs> yeah I look bad Phil's channel's name is salt squatch we'll put in the link below this guy is so cool and he's taught me a whole lot about shark fishing pompano fishing but i want to show them what they got set up they got all canopies lights everything set up down there we'll be ready to eat in like five minutes though <laughs> five oh, okay give yourself 10 minutes okay i got 10 minutes now we are in the national seashore still which is the gulf islands national seashore and we drove east of pensacola beach so over here that is pensacola beach and then we're just on the highway right here and how awesome has Kelly been lately, y'all? She is letting me fish all the time. This is so cool. So if y'all remember, this is Phil with Saw Squatch. There he How's it going, guys? Good to see him again. And we got here late. They already caught one shark. We caught a six foot three female sandbar so far. We're hoping for something big tonight. I've never even heard of that shark name. I've only heard sandbar, of black yeah. tip that you've caught in Hammerhead. Sandbars look a lot like a bull shark, but they have this ridge on the back. So they're an endangered shark. We um, tagged it and released it. I'm gonna send the info over to Noah. Okay. 
So Phil wanted to tell me about this boat that they're going to use. In in the last vlog at Pensacola, we showed y'all a friend of his named Smitty had an RC boat, but this one is triple the size, quadruple yeah. the this size. This is um, built in South Africa, I believe. John, is this built in South Africa? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what I thought. Okay, just want to make sure I get my details right. Built in South Africa. John has a um, couple of these guys, and these can take up to 10 foot swells. And I forget how much weight wise it can carry, but it's like 15 or 20 pounds. It's a lot. That's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. This is um, GPS activated, so it will return to where he sent it from. And then it's got this little hatchback here where they attach the line. And so he hits the button and it will drop the bait. And he's going to set it up so you guys can see okay. the process. It's the bait we're using. Good lord. It's called a Bonita Foss Abacar, aka Little Toonie. They're local to the area. Great bait. That is huge. Oh, it's bigger. Look at that head. That's one. So big. that's what you fish with. Yes, sir. Goodness gracious. A fish like that in Arkansas would be dinner yeah. for days. Yeah, it's bait for us. So we're just going to take the hook. This is a 24 watt circle hook. And it's got a pitch barb. That way it's easy to dehook the shark and easy to hook. Yeah. That way we can release them quick. Let's go to the top and bottom jaw. And uh, Kelly's chilling out in the camper. Yeah, yeah. Circle hook, and this is what attached to the boat. This is what drops it. Okay, so I know that on the back of that boat, the compartment wasn't large enough for that, so you just set it on top or you drag it across the top it's of the water? It's got a hook inside of it that hooks up to it. Okay. And it pulls behind like a torpedo almost, and it drops it. It lifts up just like that. Okay. And that's when the bait drops. Now, you might be wondering, why are they not just casting this stuff out? Well, they need to get way out there in a little bit deeper water, further than they can cast. How far do y'all usually go? This one's probably gonna be like between three and 400 yards. That's a good amount. The most you could cast with a regular spinning setup would be like maybe 100 yards, maybe a little more if you're really good at casting, but this is the right. This huge bait, <laughs> you're not casting that nowhere. Sure. Wait okay. So that's just hooked on to this prong here. And so when I drop the bait, all I do is I hit this button, pops open, baits drop, and then the boat, so I'll manually drive the boat out there. But when I want it to come back, all I do is I hit this back towards me, and the boat comes right back to me hands-free. That so, is nice. Yeah, it's awesome. That's what they call uptown high rent. Absolutely. <laughs> We might not have told you what's the other end of that line attached to is this big, massive reel. So I just dropped it. Now all I do is I hit this button back towards me and the boat's out there right now, I guess 350 to 400 yards and it's gonna come all the way back to this spot without me doing anything. And y'all can't see it on the camera right now, but we can still see the boat. There's two LED lights, it, a green and red. I yep, see those. Just like a boat, starboard and port side, green and red light. And you can see it faintly out there. Yeah. Um, you'll see it close in when it comes in. But when it comes like maybe 10 yards from me, then I'll take it and I'll put it back in the manual. And it'll come right back to us, pick it up. And You're done. It's that easy. Being in a kayak, it, I would still be paddling. I wouldn't even be halfway there paddling. So. Hey, I've paddled out some bait before. That was a pain in the butt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Return feature via GPS makes life a lot easier. So fast. I don't know how fast it's coming back. I, I, feel, like, I feel like that was like 10 miles an hour. So right now they've got a massive bait on this this reel. What is it? A barracuda? It's a said? big barracuda head. <laughs> barracuda it's, head. It's like this big. It's huge. <laughs> and it started pulling the line out. And now there's a lot of slack in the line and i would just automatically assume that you you pull on it and you start reeling in like you do with a small fishing setup right. so that's the that's, that's the barracuda what's out there. yeah that's what's out there yeah easy yeah. but if the shark feels a little bit of pressure from the line you're saying that it'll spook them it, it can spook them for sure i mean when we first got out here they sent out a drone while one of the guys was kayak out kayaking out of bait and he spooked a shark right underneath him huh. a big one so they're out there and they sharks are spooky. They can get spooked like that. And also you don't want to pull it out of his mouth if it's not connected yet and hasn't gotten the hook yet. Yeah. So we're just letting him eat. It's a big bait. Don't see a lot of action yet. Doesn't look super hopeful, but he could, you never know. He could be eating. Yeah. It's weird to know that there's a head of a fish that's as big as my head or bigger. It's bigger than my head, isn't it? What's oh, that? Yeah. The bait, so oh, the yeah. bait is like from here to probably like here. Probably and like some, at least two feet. Two feet, so it's a two foot head, and it's whatever it is, is is playing with that right now. All right, nothing's bit yet. 
and I've been gone a little bit longer than expected because we were thinking something was taking the line. By the way, this is one of the cool things about having a truck camper. Used to, I didn't get to go do stuff like this because I didn't want to make Kelly be at home alone or take the car where she couldn't go anywhere. She knows where I'm at. She's here. She's able to hang out in the camper and she's all down for it because she's got a queen size bed. I mean, heck, it's just nice. It really is just nice. Dinner's ready. I've already eaten a little bit. She <laughs> I was me. hungry. I couldn't wait. This is her Mexican casserole. So good. Thank you, honey. This is good. You're welcome. So if y'all wondering what else is Kelly doing, we're finally learning how to use our TV. She's never used it before. Yeah, I'm just having problems streaming with my hotspot. It works with Starlink, but I mean, we're out here on the side of a road, so we don't really have Starlink hooked up right now. So it's just not working with my hotspot. It doesn't stay flat. It actually pivots out. So if she's laying in bed, she can relax, which is probably what she'll be doing here in just a second. But Kelly cooked was pretty darn good. I don't know how late I'm gonna stay out here with these guys. Probably not much later. I'm getting kind of tired. These guys, on the other hand, they're staying here until tomorrow at lunch. Wow. Oh. So came back down here to see Phil and they didn't have anything bite. It's getting a little bit later. They're gonna stay here for the rest of the night and they're gonna catch a whole bunch and he's gonna call me in the morning because they're gonna be <laughs> they'll be here till lunch and let me know what they caught. We might come back yeah. depending on what, what we get into tomorrow, right, Phil? That's right. Well, it's great as always. Good seeing you, Cody. Yeah, man. And every single time that we come here, we always gotta see our buddy Phil. He's just I'm such a cool small. cat. We'll catch you later, bro. Absolutely. See you guys. Good morning, y'all. Just got the phone with Phil. Him and the guys are still there. And last night they caught a massive shark. I think they caught a total of three, but here's an image of one that they caught. It was around one o'clock in the morning. I so wish we could have been there for it. However, today is our last day in Florida. And we decided that we're just gonna do what we love the most. And Angel Princess, what is that? The beach. So we woke up and we drove straight to the beach. I'm actually gonna cook breakfast out here, dinner out here, we're gonna spend all day. Right now we have some of that dense fog we've had every morning. It's supposed to clear by 10 and then the sun should come out. So fingers crossed so we can enjoy this beautiful day. This morning we had leftover blueberries. So we're gonna make blueberry pancakes. coffee is really good this morning. I know that it is good coffee, but it's extra good, I think because we're at the beach. Yes, we have never had the opportunity to be able to just spend an entire day at the beach. Usually we had to cook breakfast at camp, come over here, spend the day here, and then go back. But today, no, we're here all day because this is what we came here for. I love it. Yeah, that is actually another beauty of having this camper is that we have everything with us anytime. So for example, we were somewhere the other day, it's like 40 minutes from camp. We wanted to go out to eat, but we hadn't showered all day. So we were like, let's just shower. So we showered in our camper in a parking lot and then drove to dinner, drove back to camp and went to bed. It was pretty nice. I gotta admit, that's one of the cool things for sure. Some of you asked in the past why don't we have like a little trailer or something pulled behind it's really difficult to find parking with a trailer like where we're at right now oh i gotta do butter, butter man. i'm her butter man put that on there like that but as i was saying we wouldn't be able to park in this area or many places that we go to like where we parked the other day to shower if we were pulling a trailer and look right now we're able to park just right here in between all the other vehicles this is so cool Yes, pancakes, the breakfast of champions, especially Kelly's pancakes. They're extremely fluffy today. Mm -hmm. They're good. Always. They are good.
been a beautiful day and tonight is going to be even more beautiful because Kelly is making her beautiful Washita cheese steak. I am. One of my favorite meals at one of my favorite locations and we got to do this during sunset we did oh so beautiful well y'all we're about to be heading back to arkansas to spend some time with the family for the holidays and we will catch you on the other